What is up, my fellow paint slayers? Speaking of Harry, you're eating ears. Oh. What is up, my fellow paint slayers? We are coming at you with a big, giant piece of canvas. 24 by 48. Because one of you guys was crazy enough to challenge me to do a bucket pour. Well, guess what? Challenge accepted. So, the plan is I'm going to load my white with the silicone. See if we can get it to bloom on here first. Then, let it let kind of figure out what it's going to do. If it's going to mix too much, then I'm going to come back on top of this with a ribbon pour with uh, traditional putting the silicone in the regular paint, leaving the silicone out of the white, and just see what we can come up with. Are you ready for this? So I'm thinking, how much paint does it take to cover a canvas this big? I don't really know, but this is a gallon bucket right here. I don't really know. I don't really know. Somebody spell that for me. I don't. <laughs> I don't really know. O W N T? <laughs> <laughs> Is there an apostrophe in that too, Sice? I, I don't know. O W N T? I feel like there needs to be a Q in there somewhere just for. O O O W N T? I don't really know. I don't know. Dude, I'd tell you that I was going back to my roots, but I don't think my roots run that deep. So, no, just you saying. You were born in Illinois. No, I was born in Alaska. Whatever. Don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Fine, Alaska. I don't remember anyone in Alaska sounding like that. No. No. Okay, so. That's so what happens when you live in Texas for. Do it here. You just stop and pan the colors. We're going to go simple because I'm looking to pour purple and teal and some, some Tiffany blues here. Is what I'm looking for. So very simple color palette. Got my darks. Got, got my butane, lights. Got your torch. Got my butane torch. And everything paint. else. Got a giant gallon bucket here for the said paint. And I'm hoping to not screw this canvas up. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with. Just remember the first bucket pour we did. You didn't pour. Near the correct enough. amounts of paint in there, so. Well, let me just tell you. Probably better get over here and get you a close up of this. Is eh? it looking nice? Mm hmm. Can I see it? Yep. Oh, wow. 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 Oh my god, Rio. Looks like you know what you're doing. Would you like to film for Instagram? Oh, I can do that too. Look, I got a tripod right here. This paint is some chunky monkey BS here. Take a piece. Ha ha. Ready? I gotta pour this, dude, because uh, we're a mess. Yep. Go for it. I gotta dump it or pour it. Do you wanna flip it? Do you wanna do a bucket flip? We can do that. I can help you with that. A bucket flip? Yeah. If I flip over the canvas for you, we can... No, I can flip it without that. But I don't know if I want to do that or a pour. Okay, well, make up your mind.
so glad I bought that gaff tape that I haven't used yet. <laughs> he almost uh, fell down. <laughs> and then he tried to act all cool. <laughs> Say so Says cannot multitask. <laughs> he can't walk and be a smart butt at the same time. <laughs> Heaven forbid we add bubble gum to that. <laughs> Chewing gum and walking. <laughs> Not going to work for him either. <laughs> driving down the road and eating. Nope, can't do that. I'm really good at texting and driving now. Driving and texting, can't do that. Driving and even adjusting the radio in his truck can't do that. Mm. He's not a multitasker. You should see. Yeah. You should see me trying to film and drive at the same time. Oh yeah, you're gonna get to see that footage, the Rockport footage. Yeah, Chase almost killed him and my mom. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, because he was driving and filming. Driving, filming, and trying to keep a nosebleed under control. Hmm. Yeah, it was treacherous. Anyway, check out this painting. We never let you guys see the finished pieces, usually because they're already out the door. This one went to the show and came home with us. That's my sad face. Somebody out there wants this painting. We just have to find out who. Um, they can't see your hands down here because you're like all shoot this way. <laughs> so <laughs> We just did that with exact. It's the small things in life that amuse me. All right, I don't know, but like I've had the same contacts in for like four weeks, so it looks like a giant eyeball. The painting looks like a giant eyeball. That's the eyeball right there. It's like looking off hmm. at something. Maybe you should replace your contacts. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, so this painting is done. Bucket pour challenge accepted, completed, perfected, drive on. Uh -huh. Actually, don't drive on because I'm going to paint a few more of them because it was so much fun. And we're going to try to figure out how to make these big pours even more epic. So uh, stay tuned because we're coming back next uh, next video. We're coming back with, I don't even remember. I like how you, you try to look at me for confirmation. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what day it is. I don't know what, you know, when you want things to come out even though you tell me. Tuesday like, and Thursday, Chase. Anyway. How did, you guys, how did you guys in, like the uh, okay, so editing? Did, yeah, did you guys like the editing? Leave a comment for Stace, because I personally thought the editing was the bomb. I thought it was so cool. And if you would uh, like to And see I like the music. And I like the fact that we chatted with you a little bit at first, and then you just got to see, you know, how cool the painting process of it was. I that, thought that was really that cool. That not only allows Rio to just paint, but it also allows for, you know, and it allows me to have create a creative edge on the because I thought this one process. was really good anyway so paint's finished it's for sale going on the uh website. it's going on the website until next time thanks for joining us in the studio ciao Find me on the dance